Ah, my friend, you met the danger well today. The townsfolk owe you much, as do I. It is some strange stillness has drawn them from us this evening. I cannot account for it, but I feel it as keenly as they do. Yes, the beast is dead, but I fear another evil is about the land. Listen! Fire, they are shouting, and a fire it must be. Quickly, there are buckets outside the door, filled with water for the kitchen. Take them and end that unwelcome light. Your day's work is not yet done. But remember, return before this night is over, for I have not yet given you my reward.
upon the table. I've secured for you a helmet, one endowed with a magic which may aid in your protection. When I saw it on my travels earlier this year, I thought to buy it at a great price and sell it for one greater still. But after all you have done for us, I hope only that it keeps you safe. stand where the Dark Elves stood but a short time ago. My bow has sent more than a single shaft into the heart of evil this day. One of the drow sought to capture me, daring to think he might ride me into battle. Ha! Let anyone dare put a hand upon my back and he will lose more than the offending fingers. Phew! 
few have not heard the name. Drist. It sounds almost of fire or of some eruption from the earth. I know him. As you say, he haunts these parts. But if he comes and goes quietly, it is because he knows how fiercely the hatred of the drow burns in the world of light. Whether Drist himself is good or bad makes little difference. Being drow, who would not draw their swords against him? I shall come with you, for a time. Drow or no drow, this land can be dangerous. More than one caravan has fallen prey to mysterious forces in the east. But know you this, my family waits in safety for my return. Should your travels lead you far from my forest home, I will leave you. It is all I can offer. here somewhere, I think. Or did I send that fellow on his way? There's such a bother, he and his friends, all of them casting globes of darkness and shouting in the rudest fashion. I had no time to join in their games. If you're looking for them, I'm afraid I made them go away. Quite far away. Help you? What could you want from such a weak old man as myself? If it's advice you seek, Rise early, work hard, expect little in return, and always, uh, rather, never volunteer for anything. Uh, take up the study of gemstones. It's a relaxing pursuit, and... And blindly you shall pursue them, for their home is in the Underdark. Even creatures endowed with natural infravision may have some difficulty in that infinite labyrinth. And others stand no chance at all. So few appreciate the proper uses of gems. Ah, uh, but I am not insensitive to your quest. If you were to bring me four gems, any type will do. I shall enchant them. First, so he who keeps any such gem may see in the Underdark as well as any drow. Second, to protect you against the radiations known to emanate from deep in the earth. I sell a few, now and again, but currently have no supply. In this case, you need only bring me the stones. I shall provide the enchantments without charge. Only those long used to the Underdark share some resistance to the radiations. Dwarves who have worked its mines, the Drow, the Deep Gnomes, and the Myconids. How in all the world should I know where you can find gems? I know only that my own supply is exhausted. <laughs> 